Hey guys, I typically don't do unboxing videos, but I got something from Hong Kong DHL, so thought I would open it up and, and share with you what we got. So in a fairly well-wrapped package, we have a cable. Uh, this is from Hash Altcoin, by the way. And it looks like we have another one. And inside a bunch of bubble wrap, it looks like we have an FPGA board. Um, this should make the F1 I have uh, into an F1 Plus, although looking at it, um, it looks a little bit different than the current ones I have, but we'll go give it a try. So here's the F1. Uh, I have another F1 that doesn't have uh, the three slots and the larger case with the double fan it's just a single fan etc so um and it doesn't have the extra uh port right there for the ribbon cable so um there is a difference and I, I guess you can buy all the parts whether that's economical or not i i don't know but we're going to put this um what looks to be a different style um board in there and, and make it an f1 Plus is the goal. Um, that better not be Voss Coins bad board, but <laughs> I don't think uh, Hash Altcoin would would do that. So here we go. So we went ahead and pulled out the four screws <laughs> and the one that's underneath the warranty, but that's okay. And we'll look inside here and, and see what we have. So there's two boards, and we're gonna add another. Just so you know, I'm following the manual exactly the way it says to do it uh, one-handed so it looks like there's a little bit of a rail and we just slide down until we hear the cracklet and the pop so it looks as simple as adding a board you just take off four screws and put that guy right in there so now the four screws are back and the fan is where it needs to be and well, it's difficult to put these together, I guess, with one hand. But um, now we'll put the ribbon cable that goes from the board over to the uh, controller board. It comes with this double ribbon cable, and you just connect it into very carefully uh, into each slot. The thing I just wanted to show is that on this third hashing board, I did mess up and have to take it up and out a little bit. Um, you can actually slide it on the inside of that rail. It actually, if it wiggles, then then it's actually installed correctly if it's got a little bit of wiggle to it. You need to make sure that it's in this rail and of course the rail up there, otherwise your connector is going to be a little too tight. So there we have the third board installed. It was probably one of the easiest things to do. Now I have the two additional power cables. Nothing goes to the black cable here at the moment and of course you have the original power cable that goes to the controller board and then um, we have our our data cables here so looks like she's good to go and we'll have to go to the firmware now I apologize we're gonna be moving soon so um, my workspace is going to be moving a little bit as well but let's go ahead and fire this guy off Sounds good so far. Looks like we're getting 12.2, so that's good. It's not below 12. Also, when this does mine on CKB, it's going to be roughly 850 watts or so. <clears throat> this is on a 110, so it gets about 900 uh, watts rated. I plan on doing 240 for it soon, but uh, at this point, it'll be good enough to test and with it, its safety limits. So we'll go online and see what uh, what we've got. So as you can see, uh, this went and uh, did boot up with all three boards installed. Um, I named it uh, F1 Plus Black Miner just because I knew I was getting a, a third board for it. But um, we'll go ahead and go to the system <coughs> and actually... Let's do configuration, upgrade, <clears throat> and we'll do the BIOS firmware for the F1 Plus. 
Sorry guys, it's been a long night. I'm just trying to get this out there in case it's useful to anyone. So we'll go to the Black Miner F1 Plus. Uh, I will go ahead and download that latest um, firmware. And we'll go from there. So you probably can't see that because of the desktop security, but I'm navigating over to the uh, correct uh, firmware, and we're going to hit upload and wait that 90 seconds and see what happens. So I did look into it, and the algorithm for the F1 and the F1 Plus is the, the same bit streams, so we won't have to upgrade and change those. Um, based on an additional board. Well, that was a little bit of a nerve-wracking minute and a half, but as you can see now, the miner type is a Black Miner F1 Plus. That's named by the firmware, not me. And then if we go under miner status, we haven't started mining yet, which I kind of assumed we're still populating, I think. Um, Okay, so our, we are um, good for the pool status, and it looks like, give it a minute here, oh, there we go, oh, nice, there's our uh, six boards reporting, and we'll see what happens and if we get up to speed here. Well, guys, that seemed pretty simple, it looks like we have, um, you know, a good, uh, Hashing rate doesn't look like we actually <laughs> we didn't get Voss coins board, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm pleased so far. Uh, if there's any uh, you know things that pop up that are concerns, uh, I'll let you guys know. But other than that, it looks good so far and um, uh, a fairly easy thing to install. So um, if you have any other questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.